So, and we're trying to practice peace. We're doing this name tag thing. And then we are changing up the name tag thing by adding little icebreaker questions too. So like during passing the peace, you can, there's the icebreaker questions out there in the table and then we're dropping it in the uh, Facebook live feed too. So you can answer your question now or later on. Uh, today's question was, uh, did you have any candy left over? Raise your hand, candy left over? Yeah, a few, yeah. See any good costumes that you want? Any interesting costumes you wanna share? Were you a good costume? This year I'm sure there's some good ones out there. I saw a jellyfish, it was really cool. Anybody else see something cool? What's that? A finger. Okay, that was a little, that sounds a little creepy. So anyway, but we're a non-creepy church, right? But we have fun being scary. So anyway, well, that leads us to the time that where we really break some molds. It's the time that we know as time for discovery. And in this time, we celebrate the story in the Bible as a story that really is an amazing story that you just didn't realize all that was in that story. And we've been doing 2 Corinthians, which is a blast. And, you know, for the story today, um, we need to break some molds because it's a baptism Sunday. So baptism is something that really, really breaks molds. It really changes what we think about God and ourselves and life and all that stuff. And the text today from 2 Corinthians also is a mold-breaking text, and it shows us how to live a life of being baptized. So the text today is actually full of struggle, which is something else we've been talking about in 2 Corinthians. We've been talking about the struggle bus. So the person who wrote 2 Corinthians was the Apostle Paul. And it's like, oh my goodness, 2 Corinthians is writing, Paul is writing the struggle bus. Life is really hard. But this helps us know you know, a life of faith includes struggle, but with faith, we know that through struggle, we have new life, we, have, um, we become our true selves, and we connect with other people, so it's a pretty cool thing. But we're going to be riding the struggle bus today during the reading, so I'd really like some, the struggle bus, we do not ride it alone. So I think I'd like to invite a few baptized people and some people who have not yet been baptized to ride the struggle bus together. So you're welcome to come up here. Um, we have some people that have been, have you guys been baptized? Excellent, wonderful. So if you've been baptized or if you haven't been baptized and maybe if you're going to be a part of baptism today, yeah, all right. You guys, are you ready to ride the struggle bus with me today? All right, we're gonna ride. There's a lot of struggle going on. Woo! Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> she's struggling. She's afflicted. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. We need, like, a little bus cam today to see. Oh, oh. Oh, boy. Yeah. So we're going to ride the struggle bus. So if you can follow me, and if the struggle bus gets into trouble, you might have to help me, okay? Because we're all riding the struggle bus together. All right? You ready to help me today? Okay, so let's listen, and then during the reading, you'll hear about some struggles and afflictions, so we might be, you can kind of play follow the leader there, or just do your morning stretches. Okay, you ready? So if you see the struggle bus getting in trouble, just feel free to help. Okay, I think, I think we're on board now. All aboard? Okay, well, we are in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 7 through 11 and 16 through 18. But we have this treasure in clay jars, so it may be made clear that this extraordinary power belongs to God and does not come from us. We are afflicted in every way. But not crushed. We're perplexed but not driven to despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, 
but not destroyed, always carrying in the body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be made visible in our bodies. For while we live, we are always being given up to death for Jesus' sake, so that the life of Jesus may be made visible in our mortal flesh. So we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Wow. It took every last one of us to ride this struggle bus and lots of help. So thank you. Let's have a listen and repeat prayer. Dear God, Dear God thank you for your help. Thank you for your help. When we struggle. When we struggle. And thank you for other people's help. And thank you for other people's help. Thank you for church. Thank you for church. Where we learn to struggle with love. Where we learn to struggle with love. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for helping this story come to life today. <laughs> 